Hey YouTube, it's Budget Bug Out, and in this video, we're going to be going over my top five favorite cold steel folding knives, so stay tuned. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and let's go ahead and dive right in to what I believe are the top five cold steel knives, or at least these are my personal favorite. Let me know what you guys, what your five favorite are in the comment section down below, because there are definitely more than five good folding knives from cold steel. So let's go ahead and get down into it. This is the tough light that you see in front of you right now. Um, the, some of the specs on this is that uh, the blade length is 2.5 inches. The steel is OS 8A and the weight is 2.5 inch, uh, ounces, rather, and the handle material is made out of grivery, which is a, basically a type of plastic, but the ergonomics on this is amazing. So I wear between medium to large size gloves, and using these two finger choils, I mean, it really uh, locks into place and get some jimping on the spine of the blade back here. Um, so this is, this is a box cutting master. Uh, I really like using this for everyday carry tasks. It's not that great, or at least it shouldn't be really used too much in an outdoor type of environment where um, this, this blade is just not meant uh, to withstand things like feather sticking and such. But um, as long as you keep it within uh, its beater knife type of roll, um, you're really gonna have uh, a great time with this knife. And uh, like all the knives, these pocket clips are going to be uh, reversible so that you can carry this left or right hand. It doesn't matter because you got these uh, triad locks uh, on the back, which lock up really, really well. Um, if you guys haven't researched the triad lock, um, you might want to go ahead and do so because that's what makes cold steel uh, such a favorite among uh, the knife community. Next knife. Oh, by the way, that was... Uh, I think $23 on Amazon. I'll leave the links for all these knives in the description box down below. And if you guys use any of these links, um, it helps the channel. Next knife is known as the Finn Wolf, and this one is also budget friendly, $31. And while the last one was good for everyday carry, uh, this one is also good for outdoor. The blade length on this is three and a half inches. It's got the same steel, same handles as the previous knife and the weight on it is 3.4 ounces. What I like about the Finn Wolf is that the, uh, is the grind basically. That Scandinavian type of grind is great for feather sticking. So if you're looking for uh, basically a beater knife that you can you know, take on hikes and whatnot and you know, a sharpen sticks <laughs> uh, or you know, something camping, camping knife related, um, that you just want to have in your pocket, it can just fold away. Um, I would definitely recommend uh, this one right here. One thing to keep in mind when it comes to the, the triad locks though, is that once it hits a 45 degree angle, it really yanks it closed. That, that detent is very strong. So just kind of keep it, that in mind. I've been bit by some of my cold steel knives. All right, the next knife we're going to talk about is known as the Cold Steel Voyager. And some of the specs on the Voyager Large, which is the version that I have, is that the blade length is four inches, uh, the steel and handle materials are the same as the previous two, and the weight is 4.6 ounces. And like I said, there are different versions of this. This one is the one with serrations, um, and it, it has the uh, classic clip point design. But you guys can get um, ones that are just different sizes, but I love the large and it does everything I want. I'll leave the links for the plain edge because I know a lot of y'all don't like serrated blades. But yep, I, I really like this knife. Um, now you're starting to get in sort of the tactical knife roll and Voyager is gonna do a, a great job with both everyday carry as well as the tactical knife. Next knife really needs no introduction. It's the Cold Steel Recon 1. And this knife, it, the weight on this is 5.3 ounces. The blade length is four inches. The handle is G10. 
and it's got the same steel as the uh, the previous knives. However, you can also get the steel at CTS XHP, which is um, it's basically more of a super steel, and of course the the price is going to be higher. But I love uh, the Recon One. It was one of my first knives, and in fact, it was one of my first. I think it was my first uh, tactical knife. Um, I saw saw it on a on a show. I think it was called Ultimate Weapons or something something like that. Um, and the Navy SEALs used it. Um, but yeah, I, I love this knife. Um, the, everything that has already been said about this knife, or anything that can be said, has been said. Uh, I love the, the finger grooves on this so that you're, uh, if you were to, same thing with the, uh, with the Voyager. Um, your, your hand, if, it, if you have a tactical knife, your hand needs to make sure that it doesn't slip forward and run along the edge of your blade if you plunge it into a, a target. So, um, very ergonomic, and I, I really like I really like that the knife. The only uh, downside I think is the fact that um, it it just isn't as very aggressive, um, jimping on the on the back right here. Um, but it locks up uh, good enough, and um, I really have no complaints about uh, other than that, and maybe the fact that the G10 is going to eat away at your pocket <laughs> little by little. So, just kind of. I keep that in mind if you buy the Recon one, but you definitely if you're going to buy a tactical blade, get that one. Um, the, the price on the Recon one is about $83. And the next one, uh, the last but not least, is the Tau War. Now, Cold Steel does make larger blades, but really uh, the Tau War XL with the blade length of 5.5 inches is pretty much the maximum a blade length that I want to have for a folding knife uh, in my pocket. Um, it's it, the blade style on this is what's known as a trailing point, and it's it's just epic looking. I mean, just let's just be honest here. That that thing looks awesome, and that the handle material on this is also G10. It's it got a very similar uh, aggressive grip like the uh, the Recon One does. And the weight on this is 8.2 ounces, which makes it basically twice as heavy as the Voyager. Of course, the, the handle material is different as well. But the towel is great. Um, it's very large handle, so if you need to uh, bear down on the knife, you know, maybe get some you know, fine cutting uh, tasks done, you can do that. If you want to uh, choke down on the blade so that you can do some chopping or, or or slicing or whatnot, um, you can do that as well. And another thing about this is that it has a wave feature so that it can be waved off of the pocket liner when you're pulling it out of your pocket so that it's automatically deploying um, in a self-defense type of role. So love the towel war and yeah, I, I love all of these knives. Like I said, these are uh, my five favorite knives from Cold Steel. But I'd love to know what you guys' thoughts are because their Cold Steel makes a lot more than five good folding knives. So um, let me know what you think in the comment section down below and check out the links for where you can find these on Amazon in the description box if you guys want more information. Y'all stay safe out there and remember it pays to be prepared. God bless.